What's up softball players? I'm coach Dan Blewett. In today's video, let's go over what to include in a softball recruiting video. So obviously this is something that's really important. It's really, it's a huge thing you have to include in an email to a college coach. And if you do it right, it can be a really effective tool for helping you in your recruiting process. All right, so if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan Blewett. I do tons of softball throwing, mindset, recruiting, strength training, arm care, all those kinds of videos. And I was also an academy owner. We had our own softball teams. We had our own baseball teams. And we did a lot of recruiting videos. And you'll see some clips in this one as well. So today, let's go over what you should inc include in a recruiting video. And again, this is a, such an important topic. I know it's tough. But here's the first thing I want to I address. Number one, there's more good video editing software than ever on your phone, on your iPad, on your Mac or Windows PC, it doesn't matter. I can't go over how to edit all that stuff because you know I edit my own videos, I actually do this professionally on the side as well. But there's a million free tools now that are better than ever, so it's a great time to do this on your own. You don't have to pay somebody, you don't have to pay two or 300 bucks out of pocket to do that. You can definitely do it yourself. So just Google what are some good video editing softwares for your computer, your tablet, your phone, whatever. So first thing that you need to know is you should put the video on YouTube and you should put it at either on listed, which is what I would recommend because then people can't find it, you know, and really no one's probably gonna end up Googling um, your daughter. But if you want to make it public, you can. I just think it's always good to be sensitive about personal info because you are going to want to include, you know, maybe where they go to school, um, your hometown, your email address, and that's stuff that you may or may not want to share with the entire world being public on YouTube. So I would say when you upload to YouTube and it's really easy to make a YouTube account, just Google it. Um, you want to put it on the unlisted setting, which means people can access it through the link directly. So if you email the link, they can click and watch it, but they won't be able to search for Dan Blewett recruiting video and find that exact video. All right. Number two, keep it short. I would say two or three minutes tops and you need to front load your video with all of the most important stuff first. What does that include? Skills first. And this is my next point here. You want to include skills. This is the biggest thing that I see that's missed in softball recruiting videos. Get so if your daughter plays shortstop, for example, start with her hitting off the tee in a batting cage from the side, from the rear, maybe a little bit from the front, but pretty big. So she fills up the screen so a, a college coach can say, oh, I can I can really get a good analysis of her swing. I get to see this kid swing and I can make a judge for myself whether she's got an athletic swing, whether she's got power, all that sort of stuff. If you have a radar gun in the facility that you go to, like on the wall or behind or you have pocket radar, include that in there as well. So you can see, okay, she hits 64 miles per hour off the tee. That's great. Anytime you can include radar in the footage, whether it's throwing velocity, pitching velocity, hitting velocity off the tee, that's really important. It just gives coaches a good idea. But if you don't have that, they're still going to be able, again, if you show their skills pretty up close, they're going to be able to see, man, she's got a nice swing and the ball really jumps off her bat. Even if they don't have radar, they'll be able to get a good idea of whether they like her swing or not. After that, I would do the most tangible skills. So if it's a pitcher, show them pitching. If it's a catcher, show her blocking and throwing. If it's an infielder, probably just overhand throwing in a, like a closed environment so they can see your throwing mechanics, see your arm strength, stuff like that. Those are the most tangible things. The swing, the, the pitching motion, their overhand throwing, and her catching throwing. Those are the most tangible things. They don't really need to see videos of you running. Um, they don't really need to see videos of you fielding ground balls. Not too much, because remember, they're going to have to see your daughter play sooner or later. So the biggest things first are to showcase the skills more in like a batting cage kind of environment, indoor facility, or just kind of up close so they can really kind of analyze analyze the pitching mechanics, analyze the swing, see her, uh, you know, her footwork as a catcher throwing down, all that sort of stuff. And then after that first segment, which will hopefully be no more than like a minute, then you can include some game footage. So if your daughter's a shortstop, include some, you know, game footage of her taking ground balls or hit her some ground balls and film it. If she's a catcher, show some game, some game throws, some game blocks, whatever it is. If she's an outfielder, show her running down some fly balls. But again, if she's like, if it's a 200 foot, uh, you know, if, she, if, if you're taking that video from the bleachers and she's way in the outfield, it's not going to tell a coach very much. So you have to be realistic about how, like how in frame is that person? So you have to really get close and work as a parent to get good footage. So if your daughter plays the outfield and you want to get some game footage, sneak down the line, you know, outside the field, obviously in the fence and just wait and hope that she gets a fly ball while you have it on video. It's tough. I know that. Okay, so after game footage, here's the thing about including personal info. 
you don't really need to put personal info on the video because the video, especially if you put it on list on, on YouTube, it's never going to be sent in a vacuum. You're not going to just send a link to your recruiting video to a coach with no other info in it. Really what you're going to do is you're going to email someone say, Hey, coach Smith, my name is Kelly Johnson and I'm a 2024. I play short. I'm, you know, six foot seven. I'm 395 pounds. You know, you're a giant. Um, you know, I have a 3.9 GPA. My ACT is 12, you know, 26, blah, 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 blah. Here's a link to my recruiting video. So because you already gave all that, that information, right? You're where you go to high school, your high school coach, your summer, your summer uh, team, your summer coach's name, your summer coach's email, all that information that's relevant. And then you can obviously keep your private info contained in the email. So if you sent me an email, if I was a college coach, I'm going to get all the, the personal details that I need to get back in contact with you and to do you know more digging. Um, and I don't need those again in the YouTube video itself. So there's not really a good reason. Just put like the very basics. So if you have an email address that you don't mind other people finding, you know, you can put it in there um, and just like general stuff, grad year, you know, the positions you play, but you don't have to go into, you know, co other coaches, emails, where you live, all that sort of stuff. It's really not relevant in the video because it's again, it's going to be contained in the email itself. Hopefully today's video helped. Uh, if you have other questions about recruiting videos, leave them in the comments below. I've done these. I've sent these out myself as an academy owner for my players. We did this for many, many years. Um, so I know the ins and outs and what they look for. But just to summarize, keep it short, front load it with the best footage early of skills, and then you can put game footage on the back end of the video. Keep it short to like two or three minutes tops. And just remember, they're going to have to see your kid play. So or you, they're gonna have to see you play if I'm talking to a player. Uh, so you don't have to put everything under the sun. They just need to see, do you look like you're a good athlete? Do you look like you have a nice swing? Do you look like you have pretty good mechanics and pretty good velocity and like some general metrics where you might be able to play at the next level? If the answer is yes, then I'm going to say, okay, I like her. Can she come to my camp? You know, when can you come out and visit the school? You know, can you send me your schedule, et cetera, et cetera. It's always just, this is a foot in the door. It's an intro. It's an icebreaker. It's a way to get seen the first time, but it doesn't have to include everything under the sun just enough to show that you've got some talent and they'll be able to see that. All right. So again, hopefully this was helpful. Check out the link in the description below. I have a free PDF template that includes a sample college email. So if you want to download that, it also has info about everything to include in the email. You'll find that in the links below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.